lot of people are wondering what's driving all the interest and investment in chiplets right now. And what I really see is that it's all being driven by interest in AI and it's being enabled by a maturation of the technology that allows chiplets to talk to each other and behave effectively as if they're one large chip in a package. And so for those die-to-die -die interfaces, we see now emerging standards-based solutions based on UCIE, which is maturing and enabling a variety of different use cases. In particular, I'll share with you three use cases that we see generating a lot of interest lately. The first is for the die-to-die -die interfaces between high-performance compute chiplets. Now in that use case, what's really important is very high bandwidth density, allowing for very high aggregate bandwidth between two compute dies so that they behave as if they're one large monolithically integrated die. Second important criteria there is for them to have very low latency, not just between the dies, but all the way from end to end to the internal buses and interfaces that talk to the compute cores on each of those compute times. So those die to die interfaces are one key uh, use case. The second is between the compute cores out to I.O. chiplets. I.O. chiplets are auxiliary chiplets that extend connectivity beyond the package. And so they carry traffic via things like PCI Express, CXL, or Ethernet protocols beyond the package to other components on the board or beyond. This is absolutely critical for scaling AI clusters to hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and beyond number of elements. Now, as we get to the very largest AI clusters, that's where you need connectivity that spans hundreds of meters or even beyond a single building. And so for those types of applications, optical connectivity is absolutely critical, which brings me to the third main use case we see for these die-to-die -die interfaces. And that's for connecting compute chiplets to optically enabled chiplets. So these are chiplets that perform all the signal processing that's required to communicate high-speed data over optical fiber. So all three of these use cases we see growing in interest and all three of them are really fueling, fueling future growth in AI clusters.